Hey everybody, this is Ronan, the Nighttime Entrepreneur. Welcome back to another episode of Amazon Associates Training here on the Nighttime Entrepreneur channel. In this episode, I'm going to explain everything about the Amazon Associates dashboard and show you exactly how to navigate around it. Okay guys, so at the end of episode one, we finished up on this screen. We had just set up our Amazon Associates account. Now, if you don't know how to set that up, just go back to the last episode in this playlist. You'll be able to set up your Amazon Associates account and then you'll be right here with us on this home screen. So when you log into your Amazon Associates dashboard for the first time, you're going to see that the screen itself is kind of grayed out, but there are some small explanations and arrows around the page. So right in the middle of the page, you will see that it says, hello, welcome to the new Amazon Associates Central. So Amazon Associates Central is another word for your Amazon Associates dashboard. On the top left of the page, you will see that there is a button called product linking, and this is your new navigation bar. You simply have to click on the drop down menu to find more. And now over to the right hand side where it says the email address that I've set up for this account, which is productsandgear at gmail.com. This is actually what you need to go and click to look at your account settings, tracking IDs, or to sign out of your account. And if you look even more to the right, you'll see that you can actually change country. And what this leads us to believe is that there are more countries than the US that you can have Amazon affiliate links for, which is true. There is a new feature called One Link, which links the US marketplace with other marketplaces around the world, We'll cover that in a future video. Going all the way down to the bottom left hand side of the screen here, you'll see that there is a small earnings overview. And this shows you earnings and clicks during the last 30 days. The final thing to take note of on this screen is your summary for the month. This is where you can see clicks, orders, and earnings for the current calendar month. So if we want to move ahead and start looking around the account, I simply just need to click somewhere on the screen and you'll see that your account now comes to life. The first thing that really pops out here is the important notice that is on the top of the screen. Now, if you're setting up your account way in the future, then this may not still be there, but this is really not an error. At the moment, there are a few things happening with the Amazon Associates program, so let's cover them. The first important notice is Amazon telling us that they are retiring the A-Store feature on October 27, 2017. For more information, you can click there. So that's not really important. Looking at the second point, it says to provide tax information. To receive payments, please provide your tax information. Please note that changes made to your tax information must be made by the primary account holder and any changes after the 15th will go into effect in the following month. Please ignore this message if you have already submitted your tax information. So at this point of the series, guys, some of you have, some of you haven't provided your tax information, so that notice will be there or it won't be. And the final point on screen asks to provide payment information. Before we can pay you, we must have your payment information. Please ignore this if you have already submitted your payment information. So what this means, guys, is I just have to provide some bank details. Again, it's the very same as the point above. You may have provided this at the end of the last episode when it asked you for these details. If not, you can, of course, go ahead in your account and add those details. The second thing you'll notice under this important notice banner is that there is a small advertising banner. Now, there's nothing really happening here that should concern you too much. It is just advertising products and services that may be of use to you. If we scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see here the earnings overview for the last 30 days. At the moment, you'll see there's nothing actually there because we haven't started actually using our Amazon Associate link. Going back up to the top of the page here, you will see that there are three small alerts. And once I hover over those alerts, it's just Amazon giving us a couple of quick announcements. The first one is announcing the launch of card format for native shopping ads. The second is native shopping ads now monetize your traffic from the United Kingdom. And the third one is the native shopping ads performance guide. Those are not very important to us at the moment, especially not in this video, but we may look at it in a future video. Once you log into your own account, you can explore these features yourself. Okay guys, so as you can see in the toolbar at the top of the page, you are on your home page. When you bring your mouse over to the next tab that's called product linking, you'll see that it is a drop down box and there are a few different options. The first one is product links, the second is banners, the third is native shopping ads, mobile popover, link to any page, and the A store. So this is where you're going to be able to go and get your affiliate links or banners and things like that. When we move over to the promotions tab, there's only two options. The first one is to take a look at featured promotions, and the one on the right is the Amazon Bounty Program. 
So we'll open up the featured promotions. Now what this is, is actually a list put together by Amazon of events and special offers to give you a simple way to take advantage of promotions across the Amazon store. So a lot of these can be seasonal, and as you can see down the bottom of the page here, they do actually resemble ad units that you'd see elsewhere. These are featured, the ones over here is all promotions, Here's some promotions that you can set and forget. Sometimes I use those and I embed a small ad unit from Amazon into the sidebar of a blog post or something like that so that it never goes empty. There's always something showing on it. Then there's some special bounties and then recommendations. So here we can see the featured promotions. You can get the link to post anywhere or you can get the banner to embed on a website. In the All Promotions tab, it brings up more of a search engine type of page where you can search for, let's say your website is about microwave ovens, you could search kitchen items. You can get the link or you can get the banner. As you can see here, the type is evergreen, so you can set it and forget it. And as you scroll down the page, you'll see different start dates, end dates, and different types. So under this All Promotions tab, it is very busy and it is quite large, so I'm not going to go too much into it. I'm gonna go straight over to Set and Forget. And currently you'll see that there's no promotions or events that are available under that heading. Next, let's go over to the special bounties. And as you can see, this is where Amazon are actually pushing and promoting their own products. These are very similar in the way that you can get the link or get the banner, and you can implant that anywhere on your website or use the link in your YouTube videos or anywhere else you like. So let's just pick a random one to examine it and get the banner. Let's pick this Amazon Music Unlimited 30 day free trial. So let's say we want to embed this promotion into our website. First of all, you can see here on the left hand side that you get $3 every time you get someone to sign up through your link for a 30 day free trial. We can click on get link and you'll see there's some HTML here and up on top there's the actual link. If we click on get banner, we actually get a similar type of pop-up, but we can choose whether we want it to be iframe code or JavaScript code. Usually I always just use iframe, that's absolutely fine. There are two different available sizes, and all you have to do is highlight the HTML, copy it and paste it anywhere you like on your website. Now, as we just saw, there are two available sizes for this exact widget, but if you click on the actual image itself, it will bring you up other similar ones or alternative ones, and they don't necessarily always have to be in square format. So after I've just clicked that, you'll see that the first two are. However, once we go down a little bit further, you'll see that there are slightly different sizes and dimensions. Some are suitable for sidebars, some are suitable for banners across the top of your website. So guys, I'm going to go through exactly how to implant every single one of those scenarios, regardless of whether that's a special bounty or a featured promotion or simply getting a link from any product on Amazon and showing you how to embed that into your websites, YouTube videos, and anywhere else that you're going to become an Amazon associate. But for now, I just want to get back to the very top of the page here and take a look at the tools. There's a few different tools here that I'll explain again. There is Sitestripe, Publisher Studio, Link Checker, product advertising API, one link, and then link your accounts if you have separate accounts. I'm going to skip over the reports piece for just a few seconds and just cover help because it's very simple. This is where you go for resources, looking at operating agreements and looking at discussion boards or if you want to contact Amazon. As you know, help is very general, so we don't need to spend too much time on that. However, going back to reports, this is the page that I use most on a daily basis when I want to log into my account and see exactly how much money is being earned in the account. So if I go and click on reports, I'll be brought to my reports page where you can see the summary of all the activity in my account. And this is exactly where you can look at your statistics as regards yesterday's commissions, commissions over the last week, the month, the year, last year, or any custom date range. And this is the page that we're going to be using most on a daily basis. So guys, I hope you've grasped exactly how to use the Amazon Associates dashboard. Once you sign up for an account, come in here and play around. If there's something you're not sure about, come back to this video and hopefully I'll have explained it. If I haven't, please leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions that you may have. In the next video in the series, I'm going to show you how to set up these promotions and I'm actually going to embed it on a website. I'm actually going to go to Amazon and pick any product and download the associate link for it. And then I'm going to show you guys exactly how that works and what happens afterwards. For example, showing you how much traffic that link gets, how much money it makes, etc., etc.
If you're not subscribed to the channel, you definitely should be. I highly recommend it. We're only in episode two of the series and there's a lot to learn about becoming an Amazon associate. There are people out there who kind of charge for this information, but it is quite simple once you know how. So I think it's really useful to have it here for free on YouTube. So guys, don't forget, this is Ronan from The Nighttime Entrepreneur. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.